Jordan here from Huffy's product development team. Thank you for purchasing the RC Monster Truck. We had so much fun creating this toy. It has so much to offer. We wanted to pull together a few guidelines to ensure your success. So the first thing you'll want to do is uh, connect the battery. To do that, you will remove the seat retaining screw. Remove the seat itself. Now under here, you will find the loose battery connector, and then you will connect it to the terminal. You'll want to wiggle it to make sure that it's got a good connection. And then while you're under here, you can see the first of our safety switches. This is the one that ensures that in RC mode, if there is any weight on the seat, uh, the unit won't run. So after that's connected, we simply reinstall the seat. And you'll want to oops, you'll want to make sure that you get the tabs inside the truck. And this is very important is to make sure that the blue uh, screw post actually protrudes through the seat. Uh, once it's depressed now, you can reinstall the screw. You can tighten it up snugly. And then just to ensure that the safety switch uh, is free to work properly, you'll want to depress the seat a couple times just to make sure that the, it's moving up and down properly. Uh, the next thing you'll want to do is put the AA batteries into the steering wheel, which doubles as the RC controller. So you'll have to remove the screw that uh, retains the, the battery cover. Remove the battery cover. And then install two AA batteries. So we want to make sure that the flat side of the battery is up against the spring. Then we simply put the cover back on and reinstall the screw. set. So to sync the uh, RC remote to the truck itself, you'll depress the forward and reverse buttons at the same time and hold them until the LED markers start to flash. Once they do, you can release the buttons and turn the power switch on the truck itself. Then the LEDs will go to solid and that means that the pairing has been successful. To install the steering wheel, We'll simply pull back the spring-loaded retaining cover, slide the steering wheel in, depress the button, a little extra pressure on top, release, and then you'll want to give a couple tugs up and down uh, to ensure that the steering wheel is engaged properly. Then once uh, the steering wheel is in, you're essentially in ride-on mode. One thing to remember though is when you press the, the throttle, Nothing will happen until there's weight on the seat triggering that safety switch. To engage RC mode, it's much the same way. You'll depress the button on the steering wheel to release it. This cover is spring-loaded, so it'll snap back in place. And you're ready to rock with hitting the forward or reverse, left, right. But remember, if any weight goes onto the seat, it'll depress that safety switch and disable RC mode. All right, so the last thing you need to do before you're ready for your first ride is to charge the unit up fully. Uh, the charging port is right here on the back, so it's fully accessible. Simply plug in the provided charger. So you'll want to charge uh, this fully, um, which can take up from 8 to 12 hours, but never longer than 20. I hope these tips were helpful for you. Be sure to have a great time on the RC Monster Truck. And if you have any questions, call us at 1-800-872-2453. We're standing by ready to help. Oh.